Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at some of my favorite Vanguard ETFs and we're going to use this handy page from Vanguard's website that lists all of their ETFs and allows you to sort and filter them by different criteria. So for example, I can go to the performance tab and I can find ETFs that perform well over a given time period. For example, year to date, one year, five year, 10 years, and even since the inception of the fund. So this is a good way to find ETFs that have performed well in the past and may perform well in the future. Now right off the bat, what I like to do here is go to the performance tab and sort the ETFs by the performance since inception in descending order. So we see the ETFs that have performed the best since their inception. Here we're going to see VOO, which is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. We're going to see some growth ETFs. But one of the problems with some of these ETFs at the top is that they've been around for a relatively short period of time since 2010, which means that these are all after the 2008 financial crisis. So that kind of skews the results a little bit. If we scroll down a little bit, let's look for funds that started before 2008. And the first one we see here is the Vanguard information technology ETF VGT. We see that this fund has returned a little over 12% since its inception in 2004. Over the past 10 years, it's returned 19%, five years, 18%, and look how it's doing year to date, a staggering 31%. Click on the fund, you're gonna find all kinds of information about it. The first piece of information I like to look at is the portfolio composition. I like to try to figure out what kinds of companies are actually in the fund. If you scroll down, you'll find the top 10 holdings. Now, usually with funds like this, most of the weight in the holdings will be placed in companies with large market capitalization. So we have Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia. These are all companies that have very high market capitalizations, like nearly a trillion dollars or even more. So this is a fund that I like. It does have some strange omissions. For example, I don't know why Alphabet, Google's parent company, is not in this fund. But it has performed very well for almost 20 years now. Now returning to the list of ETFs, maybe we want to find something that has a little more diversification, something with more than just information technology companies. So scrolling down a little bit, we're going to find VUG, Vanguard's Growth ETF. This is another fund that I like. Since its inception in 2004, it's returned about 10%. Over the past 10 years, it's returned 13.5%. Year to date, it's returned just under 25%. Now, if we click on this fund and view its details, let's go down to the portfolio composition. Here we're gonna see some of the same holdings we saw in VGT, but here we're gonna find Alphabet, the parent company of Google, and we're gonna find Tesla. And finally, if you want even more diversification, you can't go wrong with Vanguard's total stock market ETF, VTI. Since its inception in 2001, it's had an annual return of just under 8% on average. Year to date, it's been doing a little over 9%. And also worth pointing out here is VYM, Vanguard's high dividend yield ETF. This one's a good option if you like dividends. You'll see this one currently has a 3.11% yield. Anyway, these were just some of my favorite Vanguard ETFs, and as always with Vanguard, you get very low expense ratios. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.